So we have here Crazy Climber running on my ColecoVision. It's using um, Composite Out because I modified the ColecoVision to use Composite Out. And what we also have here is no power supply. And before you comment, yes, there is a whistle. I'll explain that. What we also have here is a purple USB cable coming over here to a real quick and dirty setup that I have that's letting this run off a of USB. It uses this little off the shelf part here that converts the plus 5 volts DC to plus 12 volts DC. So we have the yellow and the orange are positive and negative for the plus 12 volts DC. The red and the brown are positive and negative for the plus 5 volts DC. Then we run the plus 5 volts DC over to this little thing here. And that converts the plus 5 volts DC to negative 5 volts DC, which goes out to white and goes over to green. And I just temporarily just patched them right into the cable here. And as you see, it's all running off of USB. Oh, and then the composite out. I'm using the console 5 composite out mod right there. This it's really messy. This is my piece that I do a lot of work on. I test things on. And I'm getting some noise besides that whistle. And there is volume. And I just got the volume turned down because. Oh, let's go the other way. I got the volume turned down because of the whistle right now. I believe because if I move some of the if I move the wires, things change on the screen. I believe I just need to clean up my soldering and get rid of all this extra wires and stuff like that and actually set this up correctly. And that should go away. If not, I may have to put some kind of filters on it. So what am I doing this, you say? Well, that little converter there, and that little converter there. That little composite converter there in the, in the part that's in there. Plus one other piece that's coming that goes right here. Which will give you the video and audio out. And the USB plug in. All those parts run about 20 bucks max. So this may be something I'll be offering to club members. Where I can upgrade their ColecoVision to use... Uh, to use USB instead of the big war, wall wart, the big giant brick, to use USB and have composite out. And though it isn't right now, you, I mean it's hard to get to, but it is still the RF is still working here. And when I'm done, it won't be like that. When I, the actual mod, the RF will be able to plug right in here if you want to use TV instead of composite out. And what I'll do over here is I will make I may make a switch base where I flip it off, but. I will make it so that you can plug the roller controller in here and run it off of this setup. And you still don't need the wall board, don't need the brick. And I will have a, either a switch or I will actually cut the wires so that you can't, if you plug your power supply back in, you're not going to toast anything in here. It's just going to, yeah, it ain't going to run. So there we go. That's pretty cool though. And these are the parts off the shelf, direct from Amazon. I'm going to clean up my wiring, I'm going to move things around. This was, I put this together in like half hour after thinking about it, after researching and finding out about it. It's about a half hour to put it all together just to test the concept that it works and yeah, it works. So now it's just a matter of let's clean up the wiring and maybe we can get rid of the noise. Pretty damn cool though. Swedish shit.